which would lead to the launch window being somewhere in quarter four of 2023. <laughs> Ashes of Creation has made a ton of progress in the last few years, and it's about to speed up to an entirely different level with Alpha 2 right around the corner. So it's time to dive back into that pure copium as I tell you why I think Ashes of Creation will release in 2020. What are you what are you doing in my room? Okay, uh, Richard? That uh that's that's not my name. Okay, Mr. SH, you've had way too much of this copium. Time to get you. Sort it out. As I said a minute ago, things are really starting to ramp up. Alpha 2 is very close, less than two months away, if we still hit that quarter through time frame, and after this point, it's a whole different ball game. We will see persistent Alpha 2 testing straight up through the betas, and then launch, where Alpha 2 eventually becomes the PTR test server. Obviously, there will be server downtime and maintenance, but there will be no shortage of Alpha 2 gameplay after September. And with things ramping up like this, Ashes of Creation could be in the hands of the massive amounts of players sooner than we know it. Don't get me wrong, Alpha 2 is not going to be a short test. You won't be getting a polished look on day one or even month one, and it isn't going to be the alphas and betas you are used to, allowing players to get an early glimpse of the game right before it launches in a pretty polished state. It's going to be a rough time. You'll probably get discouraged, and it won't be a fun time at all. Steven even said it's going to be a long road of testing, but how long is a long time? In Steven time, soon is anywhere from like one day to five years, so a long time for Steven could really be anywhere between like two days and 50 years. Who really knows? Honestly, it's hard to say. We don't know how much is ready to be thrown into Alpha 2. We've seen bits and pieces. We've seen a lot of the eastern side of the Riverlands, which is said to be the primary focus at the start of Alpha 2, a region that is said to be as big as New World's entire map. We have seen a preview of the desert biome, a glimpse of the tropics in Alpha 1, and a look at whatever this snowy biome is in the UE5 reveal that I suspect is the small snowy island of Sujoma in the northern part of the Vandegar continent. We know work on the Redwood Forest began nearly two years ago, as was stated in the December of 2022 holiday recap stream, which seems like it'd be plenty of time to get that one biome Alpha 2 ready. It appears the continent of Vandegar has been the primary focus and could have a significant amount of content within it early on in Alpha 2 testing. It's safe to say, I think a lot more could be Alpha 2 ready than we are expecting. Intrepid has brought a ton of staff in the last two years and has developed tech such as Landform shown in the desert biome preview that should help speed up the world building process. So maybe Alpha 2 isn't going to run for years as people suspect it will. It really doesn't need to either. I don't think we will see the entirety of the game before launch. I think Intrepid needs testers to get the core systems working, making sure these servers are stable, nodes are gathering XP properly and leveling up, story arcs are brought online when needed, and all those systems working together, which could really be tested in a few biomes. Once they get the bugs flushed out, then the QA team really comes in to finalize the proper operations, and the best way to look at these systems would be in a more isolated environment like the Riverlands, which could be why this is the primary testing zone at Alpha 2's start. It's an area large enough to bring a bunch of different nodes online, but small enough to keep the players isolated to a specific region. Once Intrepid proves that everything is working as intended, then they bring those systems online in other biomes and test them there. Then we test how nodes in different biomes interact with each other, while Intrepid fills in the more specifics such as story arcs, NPC spawn placements, quests, and all of that additional content. If done right, and Intrepid already has many biomes ready to go, just waiting on testers to make sure everything is working properly, then Alpha 2, while still being a long test, may not be years. It could be a year. 
it could even be less than a year. At this point, they would be at a place where the biomes are working, they have the tech to quickly create new environments, and then populate them with content. The world will come together insanely fast compared to the progress we have seen in the last seven years. And you really need to think. Ashes of Creation's true development really started post-Alpha 1. Yes, Alpha 1, Alpha 0, and APOC were extremely important for the game's development, and the devs learned a lot from them, but these are two completely different games. Alpha 1 was not a content test. It was never meant to be, and it was meant to test the servers and test the backend side of things such as nodes, and really set the path ahead for what Alpha 2 will eventually come to be. And on top of that, pre-Alpha 1, the studio had maybe 50 developers. Things weren't moving that fast. Three years later, we are sitting at nearly four times the size and have seen insane progress made in the last two years alone within the game and with hiring, and we were getting significantly closer every day to that launch window. Once we get through the Alpha 2 stages, well, Beta 1 and Beta 2 are meant to be extremely quick tests to provide polish. Quick meaning weeks long, if that. Really just to give the game a last check over before they get it out to the world to play and bringing in a very large amount of players into it. So if Alpha 2 ran for 9-10 to 10 months, launching in September of this year, then we could potentially see Beta 1 hit in June, leaving us plenty of room for Beta 2 at the end of the summer and Ashes of Creation to officially launch in fall or winter of 2025. Without all this copium in me though, well I do believe a 2025 launch could be possible depending on how much Intrepid hasn't shown us, and they've stated numerous times that they have not shown us everything. Well, 2026 is probably going to be the more realistic launch, giving Alpha 2 a solid 12 to 18 months to run, and then dropping the betas in the summer of 2026, and having a fall of 2026 launch. Most of you probably don't want to wait that long though, so well, go play something else. This is the year of crappy MMORPGs. Pack Stay Early Access, Throne and Liberty, Brighter Shores, WoW Expansions, there is plenty of content to play while we give Ashes of Creation the time it needs to become that MMO we've all been waiting for.